Hi everyone, this is Vicki, and um, I hope that you guys had a really wonderful Mother's Day, as I did. Um, I wanted to come on to show you what we did in uh, for our Mother's Day. We all got together, my family, and my daughter wanted to make these necklaces. So, on the past we've done this before, but not with the whole family, and so um, she thought that would be uh, an activity keep the little ones hands busy so um, I said okay so I set it up on uh, Friday Saturday I can't remember um, before Sunday and brought all the things that I had I have all these um, all these findings like this it was full <laughs> and at, actually there's a lot still here left but um, yeah, so I have all these things, so we decided to take it all over to um, Grandpa's house, and then we would make these. So, before I went over there, days before, I was experimenting because uh, I know that some of them bleed if you make them yourself. So, I did this one first, and I used a pattern paper, and I actually cut it out with one... Uh, one inch hole punch from um, Hobby Lobby and so I cut it out with that and then I had placed a, a little um, is that a glitter you think not glitter sequin like not really sequin but anyway those <laughs> things and I got them from I, know, I guess you can get them anywhere you know come as in a package and um, so these butterflies, I thought they were pretty, so I got them at um, Daiso. But I put one of those in there, and then I stamped it with one of my stamps I had. Uh, you can, I just keep my stamps in a big, you know, those little tiny ones in a big bag. Or actually, I put it in a container, and then bring out whatever I think, you know, is good. So I just brought a bag of stamps so here's a bag of stamps I just put it all together and they have little tiny word sayings and you can also get I'll show you that later I suppose but um, I stamped it with archival ink I just brought these along the tiny ones because we're only doing tiny stamping so I brought uh, black and I also bought the coffee uh, color and archival and so I brought those two uh, So to make that one all you need is that and then I used my glossy accents and Here you see I don't have very much. This is really really old and so I just poured it in I you take off this whole thing with a um, it comes off here it just pops off pops out so I poured it into this tray, and this tray is like this, until it just went to the edge, and it came out like that. And you let it dry. You have to let it dry overnight. So this is not good for the little ones because they're not going to want to, they want instant, and so they're not going to want to wait. However, this is good if you're going to make it for the little ones because the other ones have glass, and glass is probably not the best things for those two-year-olds, three-year-olds. So to be you know to be wearing so anyway um i made that one first and then i tried the stamping so you can get um your stamp and i use and i only brought two of the stamps so i brought two of these stamps i brought this one and this one and i made if you can see the butterfly on this one I stamped out this stamp and then I colored this with uh, colored pencils. Just use your, uh, what are these called? I, I think it's best to use uh, either the student grade or I have a bunch of these Pri uh, Prisma, can you see that? Prisma color pencils. And they sell those at Michael's. 
and you can just color it up real simply. Um, this one is the strawberry and I just cut part of it away to make or actually use the little the little um, one inch and then you put it this way and then you can just cut away your where you want to um, have it for your for your circle so or your square if you're square I don't have a one inch square so I have to cut around it it's easier to cut around a square anyway at any rate you really don't need the the punch or the punch but so I use those to make these two and just color it, color it with your Prismacolor um, and then if you want a really easy you can just cut out a square of any pattern paper like I did with this but they have ones that are inch one inch squares um, like this I don't know where this came from I it's in my stash but you know any paper I do have um, these kinds of things that you can just put uh, your square or your circle and just pick out a little image like that isn't that cute and so I thought that's a good idea so I brought those and of course I have these from the uh, Webster pages I have pages of these that you can use in fact this is probably what I use in the yellow uh, I don't have it here but um, that and then I also have stamps that are washi tape. I bought this set of stamps like this and it comes in a set of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stamp rolls and there are a lot of different ones but I also brought my um, example so I took all the rolls and opened them up and then placed them on this um, cutting, it's a cutting sheet I think you know you buy at the Dollar Tree and I did I did um, put them out like this so they can pick you know put your put your little square or glass piece on top and see where you want to want to have these like if you want the bird you do that and then I figured out a way to do the outside if you wanted to make it so that um, it does you don't see the squares or it, you see the squares but you need to color the other portion of the paper so um, I had all these and this is from Amazon so if you want to um, buy these they have different ones different uh, stamp rolls and they're made in China and um, but that it's really a good value and so I bought those over on Amazon so anyway those that was another um, idea for them to use and then the other idea would be to make your own and I have done some other ones that I've drawn myself and colored myself um, but this one in a hurry I just had been playing around and I did make a little flowers and I was just trying to figure out if the ink what worked with um, ink watercolor and everything together that it won't bleed so the first one I did did bleed and it was using the watercolor and I did the printing first and then I did a watercolor so it didn't um, it did bleed and I'll show you in a second if I can find it there it is so I did one flower and I did um, I watercolored after I printed this out and I colored it with the, uh, the um, pencil and and then I put the uh, I put the glossy accents on top and it did bleed as you can see if you like that look then that's fine but <laughs> oh and then another thing is is the watercolors nice and shimmery okay so I brought not my good watercolors but I did get I had this these watercolors okay 
So you can tell the kids got into this and it, it, no worries because you just put water on it and wipe it clean. But um, you know, they were playing around with watercolors. But these are from Michaels and this is this one is the shimmer colors and these are the flat matte colors I, I guess suppose so I got those I brought those and they went to town with that and that's what the shimmer is on on the back of this so it does come out okay these are just examples and um, these are this these are the um, these are the pictures actual pictures that I I cut out and maybe I did some coloring on here because oh this is stamped stamp so then I I did do some watercolor on there to um, uh, make this one this one is a stamped also okay so the picture would be this one and that's one of the dark dark ones like this so that's an easy one to do if you wanted to do those. And let me show you the watercolor that my daughter um, my my daughter took one of the uh, part of the watercolor that my uh, granddaughter did. My older granddaughter, she's um, four, and so it comes out similar to like this. And then she picked out you know part of it. I think my other granddaughter did this one, but um, she picked out a portion of that, and she liked the colors. However, now that I look at it, um, I don't think that she did the uh, sh the glossy accents uh, to cover this whole thing. Either that, or I'm thinking that watercolor paper does not work, because even this watercolor paper is... Um, is is Michael's brand? Um, I can't remember. What is it Artist Loft? And so it's a cheaper brand. It still holds the water. So if you don't let it dry all the way, you put the glass in and you put it in case it, it's going to um, bleed out. Or if you don't put enough of the glossy accents, you have to push it down so that it goes all the way to the edge when you put put this on top. So if that doesn't, you know, continue, if you don't get that all the way down, it's not going to um, cover. So I think that's maybe a blob of the um, glossy accents. So but um, this is another one that I got at um, another, another place. Let me tell you about that place. That place is called Craft fantastic.com and they have all the their glue their uh, glue looks just like um, glossy accents to me so and this is a little old um, you know I've had it a while it's been probably three years since I I went to the craft show in Carson with my trusty friend Marissa who's cra uh, who is um, what is she crafty mama uh, I'm sorry, Marissa. Uh, my mind is a little foggy. But anyway, we, we went and got these. And we did get... I did get some of these. So this watch... And you can see how much they were then, three years ago, with the glass that matches. And they do have... They do have the ball chain and some other chains, but um, I think I already had my other sets of of chains and squares and circles and oh, you can get all kinds of stuff. I even have hearts. Oh, I don't have the glass for this. I have the circles. And you know, mind you, I got these years and years ago. I don't know, probably um, five years ago or something. Um. Anyway, so. So that is about the um, the watercolor paper. It does um, it does bleed, and I'm going to show you other ones here. Okay, so my daughter made this one for me, and she draw she used to draw um, little. She called them peeps. They were um, 
little soft figured girls and boys and oh it's so adorable and I'd make cards up and I used to sell them in the um the craft shows years ago but she made this one for me and sad to say I think she used a watercolor pencil and the Michaels watercolor um, paper and it did bleed not it not immediately but later um, you know it's been like three days and I just pulled this out to look at it and and it's it did bleed I'm so sad but she I hope she um, can she'll remake this for me I'm sure but um, I love that <clears throat> so don't use watercolor paper don't use um, uh, the watercolor pencils I think the key is the paper so the paper that uh, did work out is the Bristol this Bristol paper is flat it's um, it works really well it's a multimedia paper and it's a smooth surface but it doesn't hold the water like the other uh, watercolor paper does watercolor paper holds water so that you can you know blot it and change the colors and and um, have you know you have actually less control but <laughs> It comes out beautiful with watercolor paper, but you can't use it unless it's thoroughly, thoroughly dry. I don't even, I don't think condensation will get into it, um, moisture in the air after you've made it up. But um, certainly if you don't wait for it to dry, it's going to um, <clears throat> cause bleeding. And this, this does have some bleeding too. The pen I used was just this, this, um, I'm sure this, if I research more, I'll be able to find one that doesn't bleed. But this is a ball, a pilot, rather. There's a pilot. And um, I like using this pen for writing. But um, it does, it will bleed <clears throat> if you, once you put the glossy acid accents on there. If it's not thoroughly dry. That's my experience. Might happen differently. And the other ones I want to show you are these that my mom made and she went this is the first one she made and see it's elongated I had a few of these and so like my daughter made this one she made one for herself she's making one for her husband and um, uh, and he made actually one for her on the long long one and I don't remember where I got this sorry guys and I'm gonna have to look it up also to find out <clears throat> so I can reorder more but this um, came out really cute. So this is uh, some paper that she colored and then she put it on top, the, the stamp. This is this one of the stamps, the washi stamps, and she put that on top and then she stamped it with um, using archival ink and a little tiny uh, stamp and she made that one. For herself and then she made this one which um, this is a combination of one of the stamps and then um, a cut off part of uh, another stamp and she put that word on top so she made that one and she used the ball chain so she made those two and then she made this one for um, my sister-in-law and um, my brother's um, my brother's wife and she uh, used the stamp, one of those, one of those uh, washi, washi stamps, and then she um, she put that on a piece of paper, and then stamped "Enjoy" with archival ink, let it dry, and then she put it together with this one. And I didn't see her make this when I gathered her <laughs> necklaces up for this video. <laughs> I see, I see she made her own. So she drew a little um, fish in, um, and it's in water, and she put Pisces because she's a Pisces. So I this is the first time I've seen this one. <laughs> so she used all the skills that I taught her <laughs> to make it, and she uh, went ahead and made that. So, so those are the ones that um, she has... She has made. Um, I also maybe you want to see these. 
comes with from that um, other the pocket watch one that I bought so you if you go to that website uh, you'll be able to see um, these kind of they still have it the craft fantastic so that's my video and I uh, hope you enjoyed that if you want to see me make one I'll do another video but I've got to go and watch my um, grandsons right now <laughs> so I'll let you guys go have a really nice day and I'll talk to you again later bye